All right, guys. So welcome to another Wolfpack video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about GPS guided bombs, specifically the uh, GB38 that we have loaded up, and these are part of the Mark 80 series. Um, just think of the the JDAM system. It's actually a package that fits around the bomb. Uh, the Mark 80 series bombs are essentially World War II. Um, you know, updated munitions, and there's nothing fancy about them, they just free fall. They're your basic dumb bomb. What the uh, GPU, or excuse me, GPS systems do is that they add these fins around the munitions so that it can actually move those fins and steer to a pre programmed GPS coordinate. Um, so if you imagine right now, if it's, if it's cloudy and we have a, you know, an overcast uh, below us, uh, or maybe there's you know a bunch of dust in, in the desert. Uh, this bomb doesn't care. It's just going to track towards a specific GPS coordinate. Um, even if there's wind, it's going to automatically correct it for that because it's looking again at that pre-programmed location. Unlike a laser-guided bomb that needs uh, that laser direction, that laser can be diffused by uh, fog you know, dust, clouds, and so you can only use that in limited situations. The reason, to my knowledge, we use these right now in Afghanistan and in Iraq is is that they reduce collateral damage because they can impact a specific point. So think of the uh, the JDAM system as a package that fits around the bomb. Uh, JDAM stands for Joint Direct Attack Munition, and it's a GPS-guided bomb. All right, so right now we are... Um, about 21 miles from Kodar range, I'll go ahead and fly towards the uh, steer. St and if you remember from the last video, we actually set up target steer points. Um, so if you can follow on the dead here, uh, steer point 10, I'll cycle those, and you see how the TGP is snapping to those targets. Okay. So at steer 10, we have a MIG. At steer 11, it is the center of a uh, target range. Then we have some F4s at 12, and some more F4s at 13. Okay, so we'll go ahead and target this MIG at steer 10. And again, pinky switch is to uh, go from narrow to wide. And then you have your range on your HOTUS to uh, change the range on the uh, TGP. Uh, so looking up at the symbology here, uh, again, we're in CCRP mode, as you can tell. The most important thing is to fly as perfect a profile as possible. So right now we're about uh, Angels 19. Uh, I'm going to try to maintain you know, roughly 300 knots. And we're still uh, about a minute out. So we'll continue inbound here. So it's just as constant an airspeed as possible. And we're still uh, 27 seconds away from release here. You can see that TGP is trying to ground stabilize on that target. It's not perfect, but it tries to do that. You know, it's trying to do it from 20,000 feet up in the air. Okay, so here comes the first fall line, and just remember that first fall line is your lofting cue. So if we were to loft this bomb, that's when you would pitch up, okay? But we're not doing that. We're just going to drop it normally. So there's 300 knots. I'll try to maintain this altitude. And there's a second drop in cue. I want to be, I want to get my flight path indicated right on that horizon and just fly as perfect the profile as possible. And then about, here's your countdown, 14, 13, 12. About 10 seconds is when I start to hold the pickle button. And 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, pickle. All right, so it's always best to fly left off target if you want to uh, keep eyes on with the TGP. Uh, you can't fly right and it should be able to track, but the uh, again, the TGP is on the right side of the aircraft. Okay, so we'll just uh, level out here just for demonstration purposes. And there's that MIG. I'll go ahead and get the uh, viewpoint from the bomb. And you can see it guiding towards the uh, target there. Try to trim it out here. Okay. 
Okay, so there it is, uh, tracking that MIG and direct hit on that MIG. All right, so the second thing we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and dive out here and I'm going to pick these uh, F4s here at steer 12. We're going to dive down to um, just below these mountain ranges and we'll stay in CCRP mode. Uh, as I'm doing that, I'm going to go DMS right to go to my SMS page. And let me trim this out first. Always make sure to trim if you have an asymmetrical load, which we do right now. And I'm going to hit control here. And the release angle, I want to set this at 20. We're going to do a, a lofting uh, exercise. And so I have that target steer point set. I'll go ahead and get the helmet mounted queuing system on. And let's get the TGP. So the TGP still has eyes on here. We'll get some distance between us and the target. Right now we are uh, about 10 miles from our Altitude. Target. Altitude. Okay, so I'll break back into the target now. Flare. And I'll try to maintain 500 knots. You want to keep your speed up for lofting. Uh, the biggest issue that I encountered was just not having enough airspeed. Okay, so right now you can see that the that target is masked by the terrain, and we're going to fly, try to fly good profile here, keep our speed up. And again, that first fall line is going to be our cue. So right now, just hold the pickle down and go full burner and then go 20 up the ladder, which is what we set it to on the weapon page. Once you get 20, just hold it. If you overshoot, it's okay. Just hold it. And there's the release. And what we're going to do is break away Cat from the flare. Time. And I overdo the aircraft there. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we'll turn away from the target. And I will show you. We didn't even get eyes on the F4s at all. As you notice, we literally lobbed that over a mountain range. And let's see if, uh, if the bomb hits. Okay, so here the bomb. You can see that flat trajectory. Um, it's approaching the target. And th th a situation where you would loft the bomb is obviously if you uh, if you uh, have AAA or man pads or just a significant amount of of air defenses and you don't want to fly directly over the target you can loft it over a mountain range uh, let's say there's a SAM site here that you want to take out and you know the exact GPS coordinates it's not a mobile SAM site you can loft it <laughs> over a mountain range and it will GPS guide to the other side and there's a hit on that F4. So you can see why this would be very useful uh, if it was completely bad weather conditions and we were targeting, like, let's say, a, uh, a Fang Sung radar and we did a low-level at attack. We could loft that bomb over the mountain range, not even expose ourselves to that radar, and completely destroy it without even seeing the target. Alright, so that was the uh, GPS tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and just keep on practicing. I'll see you guys in the next video.